Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 10th, 2020. Well, here we are, Friday. Friday, we made it to Friday. By the way, I apologize that there was no morning market prep yesterday. Um, I didn't have internet until um, after the market had opened, I finally got my internet back. So I apologize there wasn't one yesterday. Um, wasn't anything I could do about it. Um, we had an outage in the entire area here. So let's take a look at what happened yesterday. The market rallied, gapped up, and continued to rally up. I'm looking at the Dow Jones average here. And as you can see, we gapped up and continued to run to the upside. And we are now only a few points away from 29,000. And that's why I'm showing you this chart. That 29,000 lurking out there, you can imagine that institutions are going to do. They've already got the hats made. Uh, <laughs> they are going to do whatever they can to try and push us up there and try to reach that level. Um, they'll pull out all the stops if they can. Now, the only thing that might stand in their way today would be the employment situation number, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. So let's go back and take a look at the diamonds here um, and take a look at what we have going. We have an extremely bullish market here. We're just running... Um, it, it's like um, there's an insatiable desire to buy stocks. Gap up and continue to run um, in this bull run that has gone on, uh, well, the longest in history. And this move has been extraordinarily strong with um, very little fear in this market. And that always makes me just a little bit nervous when we kind of run into this wild abandon where there's um, money just chasing stocks um, at new record highs as they continue to move up. Having said that, however, there's nothing in this chart that suggests any bearishness yet. There's no bears out here. Um, and if there are, they are lurking somewhere out there that we can't see them yet. They're um, definitely being driven back and back and back further and further. So 29,000 could be in the cards today. And the, uh, that employment situation number could be could be about the only stumbling block to prevent that from occurring. So we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But uh, tremendous bullishness in this market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, SPY also showing tremendous bullishness here. Just nothing, um, nothing um, wants to hold it back. There is... Um, all of these good sense of feelings, I guess, about um, uh, interest rates being low, um, the uh, business climate being strong, employment staying strong, all of those kind of factors really playing into this. And one of the things that I think everyone should consider and as we head into this weekend, remember next week we begin earnings season and we are pricing companies at, at a place where it may be really difficult for companies to produce the kind of earnings that wouldn't disappoint um, investors at this point. Um, right now, analysts are suggesting that uh, we could have a negative a, a negative earnings situation um, this this year. That may not mean this quarter, but this year. And we're putting stocks in a position where they're going to have to perform almost perfectly. Um, that may put an awful lot of pressure on the market coming ahead. So you might want to think about that as you plan your risk into the weekend and heading into next week. Uh, maybe taking some profits, reducing your risk as we head into that earnings season. Now, the big banks generally do a pretty good job of reporting pretty well. They have a lot of ways that they can, their accounting practices, they can do a lot of things to manipulate those numbers. But overall, once we start really diving into those earnings, it could be an 
an interesting situation with prices so high. So kind of consider that um, as you think about how much risk you're taking on in uh, this market. Now Friday's looking good and again trends are looking very very good here. Let's take a look at the cues. There's absolutely nothing in this market that suggesting bearishness in the diamond spy and the cues. We're just running with wild abandoned to the upside. There's just no stopping whatsoever. So looking really really good here uh, to the upside. We do have some support levels that can help if we do start to slip and um, we'll just have to watch that closely. There's nothing but upside here in the market at the moment. Let's take a look at IWM. Now here's our little problem child right now. IWM is holding on to this price support um, here in the chart. You can see we got a little price support right across there. And we're holding on to that, but I want you to notice something pretty interesting. We've got a lower high here and a lower high that developed here yesterday. Now, while we're holding on to this price support, that's kind of an interesting situation where we're creating that little descending wedge right here. IWM is not participating all that well with the market here. So kind of keep that in mind and you might want to keep an eye on IWM if you, um, well, IWM could be that early warning signal um, that we may have overpriced this market for the short term. So let's watch that close. IWM is the only one kind of suggesting just a little bit of weakness here and uh, providing that little bit of concern. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX showing no fear, no fear in this market. As you know, I've been uh, marking this up and I was worried during the uh, Iranian thing that we might pop out of here. Uh, that never occurred. We held that as um, uh, resistance. No breaking through up here. We continue to sink in our fear. We've even broken back down below this little uh, support level in price. We've broken back down below that. And this morning, futures are looking at higher opens ahead of that employment situation number. So right now, everything seems to be coming up roses. The only thing that I worry about is when we start reaching down into these levels is that we're starting to get very complacent here. Just buying with both hands, uh, not looking back. And so be really careful with that complacency. Make sure you're taking some profits in your trading and you're not just buying with that wild abandon and feeling that that whole rush of, oh my gosh, I'm missing out. I need to hurry up and, and, and dive in, uh, you know, head first. So be really, really careful there. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122, interestingly enough, should, uh, in, in my eyes, the, as much as we've run up, should be suggesting that we're way up here, but we're not. So that's a good news point here in the market. Um, we're holding up um, pretty well here in that T2122, and we have plenty of upside room here in T2122 before this indicator says that we are truly overbought. So pretty interesting situation. We've had enough stocks declining while we've been pushing on very select um, big big um, big stocks, we've been pushing those higher, but we've had enough stocks declining that we've moved T2122 back down in here. So if we can get that inspiration, if we get a good employment number today, maybe that's the inspiration we put can push on higher here in the market. Please keep in mind that while we're all focused on the bullish market, that we have this big opening space down here where if we stumble, we could slip quite a ways. So watch that closely and just make sure that you have a plan to protect yourself if we do find that stumbling block in the market. And speaking of that, let's take a look at our economic calendar and what that stumbling block could really look like. Well, first off, we have an employment situation number coming out here at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, so an hour before the market opened. And that's really the only thing that we could stumble on today. We we have uh, 
just a, a handful of earnings. None of them are particularly notable. So um, just a handful of earnings. Um, we have INFY as one notable. We'll look at that in just a, a second. But if we take a look uh, right over here, that employment situation is a pretty big deal. And right now, the consensus estimate um, suggests um, a lower number. The prior number was 266. Consensus is coming in at around 158 with a range between about 135 and 190. That would be a significant decline. So um, if we come in at the cat that consensus number or around that consensus number, we may not have much market um, uh, jostling there if we come in as expected. However, if we happen to miss on those numbers, um, that could be substantial. And so kind of watch that number here at 8.30 this morning. That could really be the telltale sign whether we're going to reach out there, grab that 29000 or if we're going to... Um, you know, temper that uh, bullish sentiment here just a little bit. So watch that close. On that earnings calendar, like I said, we only have uh, a handful of companies reporting and INFY is really the only company reporting with uh, much notability this morning. So take a look at this. Looks like we're gapping up substantially here this morning. Uh, good earnings report from INFY. Not exactly a stellar looking pattern to try and trade, but uh, nice to see that gapping up this morning. So looking pretty good um, as far as that goes. Let's go back here and let's take a look at um, some stock setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up. That helps us continue to grow this channel and um, reach out with the information um, here, trying to help folks do a little bit better job in their preparation for the day. You know, one of the things that used to plague me all the time is is I would get caught up in the news and the events and the hype and the drama um, for that market day. And I know a lot of folks get caught up in that as well. And I found that if I did my own preparation, turned off the television, turned off the financial news, and really focused in on the price action of the chart, really focused in on the technicals, what's going on here? Um, it helped me an awful lot in... Um, how I approached the market for the day. It gave me a better, clear thinking, um, uh, calm thinking, I guess I should say, approach to the market so that I began to do a much better job in my trading without all the rushing and chasing and prediction and things that we see in a lot of different places. Now, if you find that helpful, if you could please also do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and click uh, to leave a brief message. It doesn't have to be much, even a smiley face works, but any message helps out continuing to grow this channel. And I wanna say thank you so much. You guys write such beautiful uh, comments and um, humbling comments to me. I really wanna thank you very much for that. You guys are awesome and I truly, truly appreciate those of you that do follow. By the way, remember you can always share these videos with anyone. Um, out there, share them on Twitter. Just grab that link and share them out there on Twitter, Facebook, wherever, if you feel the video is worthy. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at a few stocks setting up. A few things that I've been watching and you guys know that I've talked about these a little bit here recently. Let's take a look at um, one of the first ones here is CGC. CGC, I've been watching this one pretty closely. And as a matter of fact, it to um, a full disclosure, I am in this trade and I actually added to this trade yesterday. Looking at CGC, we are in a pattern that's called a rounded bottom breakout pattern. I'll explain that here in just a second. But the other thing I wanted to point out was this pattern in here that we see, this potential head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders pattern that is formed here in this chart. Now, that's a pretty bullish pattern. Whether we can actually get it to produce, that's another thing. But looking at this chart, we're doing really good stuff here 
in this, holding on to that 50-day moving average, and just kind of price has just been dragging that 50-day moving average out. Now, the round of bottom breakout is a stock that has been overly sold off, just really strongly sold off. And I like to wait until that downtrend has been broken and held as support before I'm really interested in that chart. And the whole pattern here, by the way, this was all created by my partner, um, Rick Sadler, Hit and Run Candlesticks. Um, we find this pattern to be very productive and very, very profitable. It doesn't work all the time, just like any pattern, but it is a very good and very profitable pattern. And looking in this chart right here, we have a nice little uptrend that's forming. So we need to see some follow through on this. Don't wanna see this faltering in this area. And let's take a look at closer look on what I call my naked chart or I draw, uh, draw these up. We have um, a resistance high right in here that we do have to be concerned about. And as we rally up, watch that resistance in that chart but if we can pop through there we can start moving up testing new levels in the chart and what we the round of bottom breakout suggests is that we um, eventually come back up here toward that 200 day moving average and that's all that really is is a reversion to the mean just notice that there's the drop and all we're looking to do is come up about halfway back up in that chart. And by the time we reach up here in that price, that 200 day moving average will be down in here. And we're, it's just a reversion to the mean. So kind of keep that in mind, but this is a really good pattern and CGC is looking well, pretty decent as of the close of yesterday. Got a little bullishness coming in there looking good. So let's take a look at some other charts that are looking pretty good. And there's a lot of them. Um, if you take a look at Apple, Apple, oh my goodness, this thing just keeps running and running and running to the upside. No stopping here in Apple. Microsoft. Um, looking very, very good in the chart, just continuing to move higher, move higher, and move higher. Another round of bottom breakout pattern we identified yesterday in right way options is um, Etsy, E-T-S-Y, Etsy looking good coming up in that bottoming pattern. As you can see, rounding up out of that 50 day moving average. Now, one of the things about this pattern I usually like to see, I like to see that 50 day moving average turning. So far, it hasn't had a chance to do that. But let's watch this pretty closely. This is a pretty productive pattern in here. And if that pops through into here, notice we have a little bit of an open gap that could be filled. So Etsy looking pretty good good overall. Um, taking a look at Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, big move up yesterday. Unfortunately, it left me behind um, gapping through here. And as you can see, any rest or pullback now, getting back above this price support, any rest, consolidation, pullback in here um, gives us an opportunity to maybe enter that trade to move on higher. Remember, Coke produced a good earnings report and um, last, last quarter and is looking pretty good here. So let's watch that carefully if that can continue to move on higher. Lots of stocks out there doing some incredible things. Lots and lots of bullishness in the market. Take a look at uh, Nike. Nike has been consolidating here, holding this trend, and this is a blue sky high breakout. So you want to keep um, an eye on Nike. Very beautiful trend here, and just this resting consolidation, if that can find some inspiration, could begin that next leg higher. Just kind of like we did right here, where we move up and consolidate over, and then we finally break and move on higher, consolidate over to trend, we watch for those to maybe break and move on higher. So looking pretty good overall. If we take a look at um, Macy's, Macy's made a nice little move here coming up out of this bottom. Take a look, breaking this downtrend and breaking up through these resistance levels. Now, if we take a look at those moving averages, you can see this is that rounded bottom breakout pattern that I was describing before, before, where we break through, hold it as support, and then we start rallying up toward that 200. But I gotta tell you, I'm looking at the overall pattern, breaking up through here, even though Macy's may have to rest here for a while, 
this is looking pretty decent and something you might want to keep an eye on for a future trade if that continues to hold up. Take a look at um, That's not the one. Um, and uh, N E E N E E. That was the one I was thinking of. N E E. Um, beautiful upside trend. This is a utility, and a utility is moving up during a market rally. It makes me a little bit nervous. Usually, this is more of that conservative play. But as you can see, earn, um, N E E moving up nicely. Nice bullish candle here, trying to break through into blue sky highs. Keep an eye on that. And as a matter of fact, if you look at this on a weekly, boy, there's nothing wrong with that trend. Um, this is just one of those you could have bought and held forever um, in the trend. And it's wanting to break on higher. So keep an eye on um, NEE. So with that, everyone, a few stocks. There's just tons to look at. Um, there's more stocks than you can potentially buy right now, just showing all kinds of signs of bullishness. Just remember not to get yourself too overly committed heading into the weekend and heading into um, earnings season. So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I want to wish you all the best, and I also want to wish you a fantastic weekend. Everyone, take care of yourself. We'll see you right back here bright and early. Monday morning. I wish you all the best.